our video all about how we came up with our project. Our, our big, big idea. idea! We came up with an idea to genetically modify box plants so they produce more oxygen and reduce carbon dioxide. In a science lesson, we learned about how carbon dioxide levels are rising. This was our inspiration. We are hoping our idea will have a big effect on the amount of carbon dioxide that goes into the atmosphere for the better. And putting the plants on roofs should make sure that the plants get enough oxygen, rainwater, heat to sustain themselves. These plants could help create a healthy, happy environment for all. Step 1. Research. To do our experiment, we had to research about the topic of plants. We looked at which plant would be suitable for our city and roof gardens. We found that the evergreen plants would be most suitable for our use because it meant that it will survive through the cold weather. We decided to settle on the box plant as it has a fair amount of chloroplast and it also has a satisfaction of looking good. Our experiment was to see how many stomata or chloroplasts a box plant has. Firstly, we spread an even layer of nail varnish onto the leaf. Once it had dried, we put a strip of sellotape over the area of nail varnish. After a couple of minutes, we peeled it off and a detailed imprint of the leaf was left on the sellotape. We then looked at the sellotape on a glass light for a microscope and we saw all the leaf's finest details. finished our idea on box plants, we had to think of a way to water them while they were on the roofs. We did some research and found out a system called grey water. Normally, when you have a bath or shower, the water will go down the, down the drain and into the sewer. By using this system, the water will be reused, filtered and used to water the plants. They will be sent through sprinklers in the roof and bingo. The, water, um, the houses will be creating their own water to water the plants. Genetic modification. Genetic modification is when you take a particular gene from the DNA of an organism and inject it into another organism's embryo or seed to improve on a particular aspect of that organism so that when the embryo matures, it will gain the properties of the gene given to it. An example of genetic modification is when scientists used enzymes to take the given the gene of a jellyfish, the gene that makes the jellyfish glow, and inject it into another animal such as mice, cats and dogs or even other sea creatures. Thanks, Thanks for watching the video and, and goodbye from the glorious Chloro Box.